Hey, give me a minute. This is Santani's Meat Market, Elizabeth, New Jersey. This is Mike Santani. He owns the joint. This is Mike Guarino, a good friend, my dad. This is the place to come for the best sausage. As we've said before in the past, you can get sausage in places, but if it ain't Santani's sausage, you didn't get the good stuff. As a matter of fact, when we go out, that's what he says. Yeah, this guy, he's all right. His sausage is all right, but it's not Santani's. Oh no, we're going to this place. This guy, he's got the good stuff. He's got Santani's sausage. This is what, why is your sausage better? Why is your stuff better, Mike? My stuff is better because we make it fresh every day. We make it with pure pork butts. We don't fool around, we don't mix anything in it. We we make hot sweet, we make the parsley cheese sausage, we make it with the fennel seed. Uh, it's a recipe for years that I've been using and uh, it seems to work. Now, this was your grandfather's? How, how, what's the history here for the 1928, my grandfather opened up. Uh, then my uncle and my father took it, and in 1961, my brother and I took it, and he worked here till 92, and then I took it, and I've been here ever since. We handle all prime beef and uh, nature veal cutlet. We handle nothing but the best. Okay. This is Elizabeth, New Jersey. People are going to pass through. They're not even going to remember uh, where is Elizabeth. But no, this is the place. Let's go way back. There was a a market here years ago. This was thriving, this community. The people were walking, it was a little different, right? Outdoor market, uh, the peddlers would back in and- uh, I can remember walking in and having all of the fruits and the very, vegetables. Very, very busy, busy area, melting pot. It was a melting pot and this was, the. it was different, but it's still surviving. Why is the business still thriving, not just surviving? You have to handle quality product. And you people give know the stuff. difference. People know the difference. And the prices are pretty much the same as any place else. But I depend on quality. Yeah, well, why is quality important? Why, why, is it, why is this sausage? Why do you got to get Santani sausage? Is it just a friendship? Why you got to get this sausage? What's the problem? Why is it Santani's? Why is it Santani's? Well, Mike just defined it. It actually, the magic touch was actually a, is a rock and roll uh, a backup, like a rock and roll. And that was uh, uh, Fanny Santani, Fanny Orifice Santani. She was the backbone of the organization for many years that I knew. And she had an instrumental in, in uh, uh, kind of looking over the situation to make sure everything was all right. And you wanted to say, you went to the neighborhood shopping years back and you wanted to come back with quality products and you would see C-E-N-T-A-N-N-I that would be on the, on the shopping bag or had something to do with whatever was happening. You could see from in the background of me a lot of different individuals who were heads of the communities of different communities in different ways throughout Jersey. And that has a lot to do with here because a lot of individuals uh, worked hard all their lives and and attained pretty important positions and a lot of them uh, came out of this area right here and you could you could say if you want they were good fellows but they were definitely part of what was happening and what was happening was a movie called the sopranos and the sopranos was first filmed here i had the honor of being here with mike santani and uh, uh it was uh, great a lot of good good actors and and, and it pioneered the, the uh, Sopranos and what was happening with different families, not only of Italian American extraction, but different extractions that were uh, close in the community. Uh, so now the Sopranos, pardon me, the Sopranos started filming here. How did you get connected? What, what, what was that like? Did they reached out and called you said, we want to use your place? What, what's uh, going on? A uh, vocation fella came and uh, he said that he said that this would be a good place that he'd check it out and see if he could use it and they wanted to use it and I told them it was okay so so that the David Chase or, or uh, that's David Chase came he checked it out he brought HBO in and they uh, sketched the whole place they uh, wanted to see if it would work and he said it would have been perfect so they did the pilot series here Okay, I remember. I, I I can remember. Now I'm a retired cop. You were the cop. 
Yeah, they were yeah. hiring us yeah. to come and do work, you know, security and otherwise. Yeah. And we heard the name Sopranos. Nobody really knew what was going on. And I was addicted because of the connection, because of the Elizabeth connection, because of Santani's. I was addicted right away. And I don't watch shows in a repetitive I watch every Sopranos episode. Nine Biggest years. show ever for HBO. Biggest ever. Yeah. And it had to do with Elizabeth. This was this was the focal point. It starts. I mean, you, what I loved is it, they, they kept it gritty. They were driving on. They had McClellan Street, Route One and Nine. Yeah. They, you know, they highlighted what we always, always thought was kind of special, and even to a point where sometimes people tried to, let's say, to 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 knock Elizabeth with certain things. But you know what? Those things are beauty. That yeah. gritty of the city became the beauty of the city. Yeah. And you know what? Now people are oh, St. Annie's, oh, that's the place. Yeah, it is the place. Everybody comes here to see. Everybody. And you have to re uh, remember that, that uh, and go back a little bit, that this originally was basically a German area, and that's where the word Peter came from. Peter's town controlled a lot of laborers and a lot of industry here. And when the, uh, most of the Italian-Americans came over to settle in this area, they were laborers and hard workers and looking to help build their families in America. And uh, this was a perfect, perfect opportunity. And Peterstown was called Peterstown because of the uh, people didn't know exactly where they were from, believe it or not. And they would say, where are you from? Where are you from? Or what's this here? Kieki Staka. What's this here? Uh, Pietro, Pietro's town, meaning that's the neighborhood they were from, and Peterstown was a section of the Berg. Yeah. Now, let's go back some years. If we go back, you know, Elizabeth had lots of bars on the corners. There was also lots of butcher shops. You weren't like, right now, you're one of only, but there were a lot. When I first came here, there must have been 10 or 12 butcher shops. Within how far? Within a four or five block radius. Four or five Six block blocks. Radius and uh, we opened up here and we really heard a lot of them because we really had a top operation. We really made it happen. Now let, let's talk about Elizabeth. So that's, we had so many butcher shops, we had so many bars, we had corner stores, kind of gone, but things have changed and, and, and in a way they've remained the same because we have different people moving in. But they're still respecting, they're still enjoying the quality, they know the quality. See different people coming in here, they're all, all talking about the quality. They know the difference. Glenn, your great grandfather, my grandfather, Giuseppe Marino, was one of the butchers in, in the neighborhood here years back. And of course, the depression came in and a lot of different things. And, and, uh, but they were uh, one of the uh, initial, initial butchers here, along with uh, a number of other families. But the Santanis, even to this day, they uh, very, very, uh, very loyal and very patriotic, and not overly religious. But I remember recently uh, the Santani family went to Italy to pay patronage to one of his father's families who was on the top of the hill. Remember, and you guys spent a while climbing up the hill yeah. and made a healthy donation, which I, I don't want to talk about now. I always do. And they wonder where you guys came from, or where we come from. We come from the neighborhood. We went all the way uphill to Italy. We're from downtown, Peterstown section. So what part of Italy are we referring to when my dad tells that story? Avellina. Avellina? Yeah. And you said that's outside of Naples? Uh, uh, yeah, it's a, maybe, I think it's around 40 miles out. It's a small town called Calabrito. Calabrito. So when did your family immigrate? I'm guessing early 1900s or? My grandfather came here when he was five. I believe that was in the 1900s. Okay, through Ellis Island? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, I know our family because my daughter's doing our history. She's going through all of the Italian history. And we're right around that time, early 1900s. And, and you see a lot of uh, Southern Italians were coming. I know Sicily, as a matter of fact, I visited there recently. And I just was asking, what was going on? And you know what? They were poor. They were dirt poor. And the little bit of money they had, the Italian government, they were going through some things, whatever, transitioning. They went from dirt poor to starving to death. So they, they didn't think they can get any lower. Then they got to the point where they were starving to death. And then they started migrating away. And there's a huge family and a huge group of Italians, Southern Italians, that migrated right here into Elizabeth. But those people came in the right way. 
they came with papers, they did what they had to do. It isn't like now, anybody could come in and do whatever they want. It was hard, very yep. difficult. Yeah, Very difficult, uh, they went through some tough times, but you know what? Where did the, where did you guys settle? Did you settle, were you living in Elizabeth when this when this all began, or were you My living? My grandfather, grandfather began in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn? Yeah. Did he have a butcher shop in Brooklyn? Or? No, but he uh, worked for his brother-in-law that had a place in Little Italy called Fredda Brothers. They made dry sausage, and that's where I got the recipe for the sausage. Mike, they're Fredo brothers. And then, and then it moved into, or was featured later on as, weren't you guys re referred to as the Jersey Pork Store? We are the Jersey Pork Store. Our really? license, I have a trade name, Jersey Pork Store. Anybody that says that they're a Jersey pork store, they're wrong. I'm the Jersey. You might have saw a little bit of that in the Sopranos in the, in the earlier yeah. uh, chapters of the but Sopranos. What a Jersey pork store. Okay, so it started with a recipe from your grandfather in Brooklyn from Fredo's. Is that what you say? Let me let me. Fredo Brothers. Fredo R E T T A. Which grandfather? Fredo Brothers. Was that? That's Orpheus. Okay. And. Uh, I still use that recipe for dry sausage when I do make it, which I don't make it, but nobody has that recipe. And it's a real good recipe. Colonel won't have that recipe. Nobody. <laughs> I won't give it either. I, it'll so go what, with me when I go. Well, I heard that one, Johnny Marshall, one of your favorites. Well, we won't talk about Elvis right now, but I know Elvis, was your, Elvis yeah, Presley was your number one yeah. favorite. But I understand that Johnny Maestro, when he had a little bit of uh, Santani sauce and peppers, especially when you threw a, a wonderful party about maybe 15 years ago, yeah. and you had... You remember that, Mike? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Hell of a party. It was a hell was of here? a party. No, we no. had it down in my barn. About uh, five or six hundred, sure set up like a feast with all types of... 400 food. people, 500 people. For Johnny Maestro, or for... Johnny Maestro and the... And the uh, Actually, Johnny Maestro and the Brooklyn Bridge. It was actually Johnny Maestro and the Crest at one time. Then it became the Brooklyn Bridge. And they had a, a beautiful setup of rock and roll songs. And I would say that would be good therapy for everybody that was there. Boy, you had a real good feeling on a lot of good songs. And what was one of your favorites? Remember what Johnny Maestro sang? He did some acapella ones, and then he did another I one. You might it. have it over here. Which one, Mike? At, whatever he did was good uh, uh, the one and, and that it was motivating he used for you. To, he used to do 16 candles there real go. good and he yeah. he used to do what are we going to do about my wife and your husband. That was a good one. That was Johnny Maestrangelo. Was his real, yeah, real right, name. Right. Maestrangelo. That'd be good, he switched it to correct. Johnny Maestro. I, I yes. knew him very well. He was at my Christmas party once. He, he came. And uh, I said, no singing, John. We're just here to have a good time. But he sang one song. Did he? Yeah, yeah. He was a good guy. Anything else? Tell me anything else you want to add about the history of the place, the food. Is it still the same? Now, when we talk about things change, did you adapt and change? Like, did you have to change anything on the menu or what you're serving, what you're giving well, to the people? We, we don't sausage, we know. from strictly retail. We uh -huh. were 100% retail. And as the area changed, I started wholesaling. And now we're almost 85% wholesale and 15 to 20%. So years ago, you had so many people walking. You couldn't stand in here. Yeah, it was just people walking in, right. walking, picking up their groceries on a daily basis. 30, probably. 40 people would be here at one time, going crazy. All right, listen, the phones are ringing. I see you're in demand. I appreciate you sitting down for a few minutes. Take this care. is Santani's Meat Market in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Stop Listen, the this is the place you got to come to. Thank you, guys. All right, man. see you later. Thank you. So we'll give okay. them a little history. That was a couple of minutes. All right, all right. That was a couple of minutes. Yeah, no, 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 no.